OVB
of Sister Faith, shall we have one family member coming up to the tree for us? Biography of Faith. of Faith, Lord of God, America, everyone's life ends the same way. It is only the details of how they lived that distinguishes one from the other and is enemy. Faith Menefa was born on the 13th of March 1984 to Mr. Eddie Faith Amenefa and Madame Gladys Mama Amenefa and Kumasi. Faith was the second child among four daughters of her parents. She had her early education in 1990 at Christian Preparatory School Kumasi. When her parents relocated to the in 1992, she was left in the custody of the late Mr. Victor Ewoku Mensah. She later joined Mr. and Mrs. Ewoku Mensah and then moved to Canada in 1998. She also attended Atomic Hills Estate Demonstration School to complete her junior high school. At the Atomic Hills Estate Demonstration School, she was the school chaplain and led Wednesday school's worship programs with now renowned artist Ifia and Na. She completed her secondary education at the Presbyterian Secondary School Osu in 2003. She obtained diplomas in management at the Accra Technical University and the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority Training Academy. She worked with Wind Free Company Limited as an office secretary and a tour guide with GM Tours and Services. She also worked as a customer service personnel at Lordship Insurance Brokers and Consultancy Limited in 2011. Faith was very talented. She decided to grow her interest in music in the year 2000 when she and her siblings relocated to the residence of Bishop Daniel Abedu and Mrs. Lovisi Abedu, who were also the founders of First Love Church. Since 2003, Lolomio and her siblings have remained committed members of Calvary Christian, Calvary Crystal Church International at Fashima. Faith remained a dedicated chorister and a member of the praise team, and her commitment to the service of God was never in doubt. She seldomly missed weekly church activities or choir rehearsals. She was also part of the camera crew, worship angels, and drama team. Faith's love for children saw her babysit her sister and Alita's children. This later grew into a mini home daycare center where she took care of other children, thereby providing support for many busy families. She trained these kids in the way of the Lord and loved them all. She was a giver, willing to offer her substance and her time. Faith was the family chef, manager of the home, and spent time cooking for others. In October 2021, she took ill and was admitted at Kolebu Teaching Hospital, where she was treated and discharged. Later this year, her situation became critical and was rushed to Dodoa District Hospital, where she was treated and discharged again. Blomonia passed on two days after being discharged from Dodoa District Hospital. She will surely be missed. Mostly by the many lives she touched, influenced and led to Christ. Known for her words of encouragement, faith would encourage nurses, patients, including those who paid her visits at the hospital. We are held together by some of your words in the last days. It is well, God is faithful, God is good. Rest in peace, great minstrel. Rest in peace, daughter of Christ. Rest in peace, faith, no longer a manifest. So we meet again. Thank you.
controlled by parents and siblings. So all those in the waiting list, please keep the time in mind. Calvary Christian Church, can we have your tribute? After that, parents and then siblings. After that, mass choir coming. Hallelujah. Roll up with the song. Parents and siblings, tribute. For we are sure that neither death, nor life, nor anything else in creation can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Romans 8.38 Faith, Mamanyo, Ah, 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 Mamanyo. This is Daddy Faye and Mommy Gladys. Faith, Faye, as we call you sometimes, we are richly touched by your absence to glory. We also went through your pains and the battle you fought until your victory into God's glory. We really loved you, but Jesus loved you more. This is why we, we called you home. As your parents, we will miss your absence, but we pray that your soul rest in the peace of God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. It took us several weeks to finally come to terms with writing our tribute to you. We didn't know where to start from. Lonanyo, Lonanyo, Lonanyo. As we always call to you. How do we explain your sudden departure to your nephews and nieces? You have left us in deep pain. You are our backbone and advisor. You took care of our children, especially your nephews and nieces. They were, your, they were yours indeed. It's not easy to write tribute to your children when the parents, you are alive. Your daughters or sons to depart. It's not easy at all. I pray that Daddy and Mommy, the Lord Himself, will continue to strengthen you and keep you and be filled with His love. But better days are ahead of you. God will you bless you. It's not a time for the siblings. several weeks to finally come to terms with writing our tribute to you. We didn't know where to start from. No one knew, no one knew, no one knew. As we always called you, or faith. How do we explain your sudden departure to your nephews and nieces? You have left us in deep pain. You are a backbone and an advisor. You took care of many children, especially your nephews and nieces. They were, they were yours indeed. You never gave up on us. And was always available to support us. Your, your nephews, nieces, and all the children you took care of are immensely grateful for your care and support. All our friends became your friends because of your show of love, sense of humor, and selflessness. You have been so caring and loving. Growing up, we went through so many challenges together, but then all God had his perfect way of training us. We always wanted to be in the house of God during weekday services and Sunday service. Even when you were unwell, you feel uncomfortable missing church service. Your generosity never allowed you to discriminate. We have gone through life together, which has created a lot of memories that will last forever. Our dear sister, we still cannot understand. You gave us so much hope that you will come back home stronger and healthier, and your trust in God will never change. You always said to us, it is well, which became our slogan. In one of our time together, you told us, my sisters, 
I love you so much, he smiles. Little did he know this was going to be the last one from, you, from our angel. We love you, Mama Mom. Let's go to meet again. We thank God for giving us faith. We thank God for her life. And today we minister a song she wrote for us all. It's entitled, May You Are Here, Amen. Father, thank you.
when I call on praise and praise and praise and it's offering time give from your heart what you're ready
Thank you so much. Now can we take a special offering? Hallelujah. You may be seated for only one minute. Let the, the generosity of this lady come to pass. Hallelujah. <laughs>